welcome. Today I'm going to share with you all a roti that I tasted once. It's a Sri Lankan roti and I had it with a Sri Lankan curry. So I'll be leaving the end card for that curry to go with this roti for you guys. So today I'm going to be making pole roti. And it's made with coconut and it's not a roti that's really, really soft. It's more of a heavier roti. So for this, you're going to need some coconut milk, fresh coconut milk, please. And if you can't find fresh, you can use half and half water and tinned coconut milk. I have some curry leaves, fresh curry leaves, finely chopped. This is optional if you can't find it. Baking soda, salt, a little bit of sugar, some softened butter or margarine. I have half of a hot pepper chopped up with all the seeds, finely chopped. One cup of freshly grated coconut and some flour. So let's get started on putting this together. So I'm going to start by putting all of the dry ingredients in. The coconut, the curry leaves, and baking powder, salt, sugar, the chopped peppers, and the chopped peppers, as I said, it's optional. If you're making this for kids, then you can use pimento peppers. So just give everything a mix to combine. Now you're going to add in the butter margarine. Now some people like to put an egg or two in their dough when they're making it. But I don't want to put any eggs into this. But if you wanted to try that, you can. So I'm going to just mix this butter in. And now you're going to add enough coconut milk or water to create a soft dough. Okay, next, after you've kneaded the flour, now you don't have to over knead this too much for the gluten to form. Once it comes together, that's fine. You're going to sprinkle your counter with some dry flour. Place the dough onto the counter. So I'm just going to sprinkle the dough with some extra flour. So when you start to roll this out, you don't want it to stick. And you're going to roll this out to about a quarter inch thickness. Now I'm using a cookie cutter, but if you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use any type of round object that you can cut circles. Also, you don't have to roll it out like this. You can make them in individual layers and make small rotis. But I, I want to make it just like they make it in Sri Lanka. And they cut it into small circles like this. So I'm going to cut all the circles and I'll see you guys right back. Okay, with the dough that's left over, you're going to make it back into a ball and then you'll just roll that out again to get more rotis. Now I'm going to be using my towel to cook the rotis on and I lightly greased it. And if you don't have a towel, you can use a frying pan. So all you do now is place the rotis onto the towel and you're going to allow them to cook properly, maybe about two to three minutes on either side until they're nice and golden brown and you know make sure that they're cooked so make sure you have your heat on medium low Here you have it, my pole roti. I hope you guys enjoy the Sri Lankan um, recipe. Make it, let me know down below if you like it. Make sure and try the Sri Lankan curry chicken. It tastes absolutely delicious with the pole roti. So if you guys like what you see and you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! <music>